The Morgan Motor Company is a family-owned British motor car manufacturer that was founded in 1910 by Henry Frederick Stanley Morgan. Morgan is based in Malvern Link, an area of Malvern, Worcestershire, and employs 177 people. Morgan has stated that they produce in excess of 1,300 cars per year, all assembled by hand. The waiting list for a car is approximately six months, and has sometimes been as long as ten years. Morgan cars are unusual because wood has been used in their construction for a century, for the chassis of several early models and still in the 21st century for the body shell. A visitor center and museum feature exhibits about the company's history from Edwardian times until the present day, developments in automobile technology, and a display of automobiles. There are also guided tours of the factory. Topic. Company history HFS Morgan quit the Great Western Railway in 1904 and co-founded a motor sales and servicing garage in Malvern Link. In 1909 he designed and built a car for his own use. He began production a year later and the company prospered. Morgan continued to run it until he died at age 77 in 1959. Peter Morgan, son of HFS, ran the company until a few years before his death in 2003. He was replaced as chairman by Alan Garnett, a non family director, from 2003 to 2006. After Garnett's resignation, a four man management team was set up. Charles Morgan, son of Peter, Matthew Parkin, Tim Whitworth, Steve Morris made up the new management team, and in 2010, after Parkin's resignation, Charles Morgan was named managing director. In January, 2013, Morgan was removed as managing director, replaced by Morris, but continued as strategy director until October 2013 when he was removed both as an employee and member of the board of directors. At the end of 2013, the shareholders appointed Andrew Duncan, a local solicitor, as chairman. In 2016, he resigned as chairman and company director and was replaced as chairman by a new director, Dominic Riley, an experienced chairman. Topic: <laughs> Early cars, three-wheelers and 4-4s. Four The early cars were two-seat or four-seat three-wheelers, and are therefore considered to be cycle cars. Three-wheeled vehicles avoided the British tax on cars by being classified as motorcycles. Competition from small cars like the Austin 7 and the original Morris Minor, with comparable economy and price and better comfort, made cycle cars less attractive. Topic V twin three wheelers, 1911 to 1939 HFS. Morgan's first car design was a single seat three wheeled runabout, which was fabricated for his personal use in 1908 with help from William Stevenson Peach, the father of friends and the engineering master at Malvern College. Powered by a 7 horsepower, 5.2 kilowatts, 7.1 PS Peugeot twin cylinder engine from an abandoned motorcycle project, the car had a backbone chassis, an idea retained for all following Morgan three wheelers, and used as little material and labor as Morgan could manage. A single-seat three-wheeler with coil spring independent front suspension, unusual at the time, the driveshaft ran through the backbone tube to a two-speed transmission with no reverse, and chain drive to each of the rear wheels. The steering was by tiller, and it had band brakes. It also had no body. With financial help from his father and his wife, the car was put into production at premises in Pickersley Road, Malvern Link. Three single-seater cars were exhibited at the 1910 Motor Show at Olympia in London. In spite of great interest being shown, only a few orders were taken, and Morgan decided a two-seater was needed to meet market demand. 
This was built in 1911, adding a bonnet, windscreen, wheel steering, and crank starting. It was displayed at the 1911 Motorcycle Show. An agency was taken up by the Harrods department store in London, with a selling price of £65. The Morgan became the only car ever to appear in a shop window at Harrods. Interest in his runabout led him to patent his design and begin production. While he initially showed single seat and two seat versions of his runabout at the 1911 Olympia Motor Exhibition, he was convinced at the exhibition that there would be greater demand for a two seat model. The Morgan Motor Company was registered as a limited private company only in 1912 with HFS. Morgan as managing director and his father, who had invested in his son's business, as its first chairman. In 1912, Morgan set out to win the trophy offered by the light car and cycle car for greatest distance covered in an hour, at Brooklands. The single-seater covered 55 miles 89 kilometers, only to be narrowly beaten by a GWK. Morgan returned later the same year, reaching nearly 60 miles 97 kilometers. Morgan established its reputation via competition such as winning the 1913 Cycle Car Grand Prix at Amiens in France, driven by W. G. McMinnies, with an average speed of 42 miles per hour 68 kilometers per hour for the 100 163 miles 262 kilometers distance this became the basis for the grand prix model of 1913 to 1926 from which evolved the aero and sports models morgan himself won the very tough acu 6 days trial in 1913 in the sidecar class the same year, the company entered the MCC Reliability Trial, which it continued to do until 1975. Racing success led to demand the company proved unable to meet. These models used air cooled or liquid cooled variations of motorcycle engines. The engine was placed ahead of the axis of the front wheels in a chassis made of steel tubes brazed into cast lugs. After the First World War, the company introduced an easily changed rear wheel, which customers had been seeking a number of years. The 1921 Popular, powered by an 8 horsepower, 6.0 kilowatts, 8.1 PS Jap and bodied in Poplar, sold for £150. It was a sales success, the price dropping to £128, and the name changing to Standard, by 1923, when a Blackburn engine was also available. The Grand Prix was priced £155, and the family, with two notional child seats behind the front bench, setting a standard 2 plus 2s would follow for generations was £148 air-cooled engine or £158 water-cooled engine. The Anzani-powered Aero was also available, for £148. Mag engines were also optional. Morgan's racing efforts suffered a blow in 1924, when E.B. Ware's Jap engine car rolled at the JCC 200 miles 320 km at Brooklands, Ware was seriously hurt, leading to a ban on three-wheelers competing as cars. Electric headlamps were made available in 1924, at an eight pounds cost. The Popular, powered by a 976cc .6 cu in engine, sold for £110, the 1098cc cu in Aero for £148, and the one-seater £160. Like motorcycles, Morgans had hand throttles, Bowden wire control mechanisms, and drip lubrication. Racing Morgans included Harold Bayert's 1096cc C 66.9 CU in Blackburn engine special with 3.33 one top gear and a 43 pounds 20 kilograms streamlined body which covered 91.48 miles 147.22 kilometers in a 1 hour trial at Brooklands with a peak speed of over 100 miles per hour 160 kilometers per hour in 1925 the standard's price had dropped to 90 
135 pounds, and the Aero 130 pounds, compared to 149 pounds for an Austin Chummy. Electric lighting by Dynamo became standard that year. Front wheel brakes and electric start, a 10 pounds option, became available in 1927, while the standard's price fell to 89 pounds, complete with a double thickness windscreen and electric hooter. By year's end, the standard was even cheaper, 85 pounds, while the new Super Sports debuted, with an overhead valve Jap 1040s water-cooled V-twin, priced 155 pounds. The 1040s engine was also available in the Aero, at 132 pounds, while a more sedate air-cooled Jap-powered Aero went for 119 pounds. The family was priced at 102 pounds air cooled or 112 pounds water cooled. These new lower prices persisted through 1928. They would be lower still in 1929. The standard and family at 87 pounds tens, the Aero 110 pounds and the Super Sports 145 pounds. In 1933, the family was priced at only £80. Morgan's racing program in 1927 earned the Mark 11 gold medals and three silvers from 14 entrants at MCC's London Edinburgh trials alone. The team was joined by Clive Loans and CTJ, who won the 1929 Cyclecar Grand Prix at Brooklands, driving a 750cc Morgan Jap, with an average speed of 64.7 miles per hour and in 1930, Gwenda Stewart turned in a speed of 113 miles per hour, 182 kilometers per hour, in a race-tuned Super Sports Morgan three-wheelers benefited from an annual tax of just four pounds, half that the Austin Seven, provided they remained under 800 weight. Morgans were also licensed built in France by Darmont. By 1930, however, inexpensive four-wheeled cars were proliferating, led by the 100. £100 Ford Popular. Morgan, and partner George Goodall, countered by putting the 8 horsepower 6 kilowatts, 8 .1 PS 9 .9 CU in and 10 horsepower 7 .5 kilowatts, 10 PS 1172 CC 71.5 CU in Ford engine in their own cars. Morgan's last V-twins were powered by matchless engines displacing 900 190cc 60cu in they were delivered to australia after the second world war the v twin models were not returned to production after world war ii the morgan club reformed in 1927 topic f series 3 wheelers 1932 to 1952 The Morgan F4 was introduced in 1933 at the Olympia Motor Cycle Show. The F4 had a new pressed steel chassis the four-cylinder Ford sidevalve engine used in the Model Y, and a four-seat body. The F4 was supplemented by the two-seat F2 in 1935 and the more sporting F Super, with cycle-type wings and louvered bonnet tops, in 1937. Production of the Ford engine three wheelers continued until 1952. Topic 4 to 4 Morgan's first four wheeler, named the 4 to 4 because it had a four cylinder engine and four wheels, was released to the public in 1935. Powered by a 34 horsepower, 25 kilowatts, 34 PS, 1,122 cc, 68.5 cu in Coventry Climax engine, and carrying a pair of rear-mounted spare wheels, the new two-seater 4 to 4 sold for 185 guineas, 194 pounds fives. 
It proved popular, and a four place model was added in 1937, joined by a 236 pounds drophead in 1938. Coventry Climax eventually ceased making engines available, so Morgan switched to a tuned 1267cc standard motor company 10, producing 39 horsepower, 29 kilowatts, 40 PS, in 1938. A 4 to 4 was entered at Le Mans. This led to production of factory replicas, with fold down windscreen, cycle fenders, smaller displacement engine, and single spare wheels. With a price of £250, production was halted during World War II but resumed afterwards as the Four Quarters. Production halted again in 1950 when supplies of the engine dried up, but resumed in 1955 when a suitable replacement, the 2088cc standard Vanguard inline-4, was found, and has continued ever since. Post-war cars Topic. Morgan Plus 4 The Morgan Plus 4 was introduced in 1950 as a larger engine plus car than the 4 to 4. The Plus 4 initially used the 2088cc standard Vanguard engine while the 4 to 4 had used a standard special 1267cc engine, and at introduction sold for £625 to Cedar or £723 coupe. The Plus 4 used Triumph TR2 in 1953, TR3, 1956, or TR4A engines until 1969. Plus 4 production was suspended in 1969 but brought back in 1985 with a Fiat engine 1985 to 1988 and then a four-cylinder Rover engine 1988 to 2000. Production was again suspended and the Plus 4 returned once more in 2004 with a 155 bhp 116 kilowatts, 157 PS Ford four-cylinder. From October 1965 to April 1967 Morgan produced the two-seat Plus 4 competition, of which only 42 were built. It's estimated that only approximately 11 of these still exist today. Topic: <laughs> Morgan Plus 4 Plus. A version of the Plus 4, the Plus 4 Plus, was made from 1964 to 1967 with a fiberglass coupe body. The light weight and reduced drag improved the performance of the Plus 4 Plus over the standard Plus 4 in every aspect. However, traditional Morgan enthusiasts did not embrace this departure from Morgan custom, and mainstream enthusiasts did not embrace the seemingly archaic Plus 4 chassis. Only 50 were built, a limited edition Plus 4 was reintroduced in 2014 as the Plus 4 Super Sports. Only 60 cars are made available and each car will be right-hand drive. Topic: <laughs> Morgan 4 Quarters. The 4 Quarters returned to production in 1955 when a suitable engine was sourced. The 4 Quarters now uses the plus 8 chassis and a Ford engine. Topic. Morgan Plus 8 Faced with the decreasing availability of large four-cylinder engines for use in their Plus 4 models, Morgan began to install the recently available Rover V8 engine in their cars in 1968, giving these cars the model designation, Plus 8. 
The engine displacement jumped from the 2.3L of the Triumph TR4 engine to 3.5L, then 3.9L 4.0 with an optional 4.6L all based on the same Land Rover block. However, the V8 was no longer than the Triumph. These features made the Plus 8 accelerate much more quickly than the early Plus 4 and also improved its road holding capability. Horsepower 143 to 204 bhp, weight and performance varied with emission and structural laws through its history. In its final form, the Gems Land Rover V8 produced 190 horsepower, 140 kilowatts. Thus powered, the car could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds. Topic: <inaudible> Roadster. In 2004, Morgan came out with a traditional styled model to replace the departing +8. The MKI Roadsters with the Ford UK Mondeo V6 produced 223 bhp, 166 kilowatts, 226 PS at 6150 rev per minute. It had a Getrag gearbox with direct drive in fifth with a 3.08 axle ratio. Later marks had a Ford gearbox with direct drive in fourth with a 3.73 axle ratio. The overall gearing is virtually the same. The later Roadsters were powered by a Ford UK Mondeo V6 producing 204 bhp, 152 kilowatts, 207 PS. In 2007, the Mondeo engine was replaced by a U.S. specification version of the same engine in the Roadster 2. In 2011–12, the engine was replaced by the 3.7 Duratec Cyclone engine and output increased to 280 bhp 209 kilowatts, 284 PS. The company calls this latest model the Roadster 3.7. Topic: Morgan Arrow 8 Series 1V. In 2000, the Morgan Arrow 8 was introduced, and as always, the wooden body substructure was ash. Contrary to popular myth, however, the chassis is metal, aluminium for the Arrow 8. The Arrow 8, with a BMW V8 engine in a car weighing less than a BMW Z4 and considerably less than a BMW M3, though more than traditional Morgans, is even faster than the Plus 8, delivering what AutoWeek magazine termed super supercar performance. The newest Aero 8 Series 5, presented in March 2015, puts out 367 horsepower, 274 kilowatts at 6100 revolutions per minute with the company suggesting a top speed of over 170 miles per hour, 270 kilometers per hour. Due to the Aero 8's a light weight, it can do 0 to 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour in 4.5 seconds during its customer production lifetime, 2002 to 2009. The Aero was configured in five official versions: I, 2, 3, IV, the Aero America and V, with mild variations in styling, engines, transmissions, braking and suspension. The company cancelled the model in 2009 but relaunched it in 2015 for 2016 deliveries. The year of highest production for any Aero variation was 2002. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Morgan Aramax. The Aero was followed by the Aramax, a limited edition of 100 units produced between 2008 and early 2010. The Aramax was a coupé variation of the Aero 8. Customers have included Richard Hammond, Rowan Atkinson and Paul O'Grady. Topic: 
Morgan Aero Supersports The Morgan Aero Supersports is a targa-roofed version of the Aramax, sharing its bonded aluminium chassis and lower bodywork with the coupe. It was launched at the 2009 Pebble Beach Car Show in California. Its cancellation was announced in March 2015. Topic: Morgan Aero Coupe. The Morgan Aero Coupe is a hard top version of the Aero Supersports, sharing its bonded aluminium chassis, bodywork, suspension and engine. It was launched at the end of 2011. It is not available in the United States. Its cancellation was announced in March 2015. Topic: Morgan Aero Plus 8. The new Morgan Plus 8 is a classic body version of the Aero Supersports and Aero Coupe, sharing their bonded aluminium chassis, bodywork, suspension and engine. It was launched at the end of 2011. It is not available in the United States. Topic: Morgan Plus E. The Morgan Plus E is an electric version of a classical Morgan, a joint project of Morgan with Zytec and Radshape, Radshape Sheet Metal Limited, funded by the UK government. It was displayed at the 2012 Geneva Motor Show. Topic: Morgan Eva GT. Based on the same chassis as the Aero Supersports, the Eva GT would have been a 2 plus 2 Grand Tourer, and as such it would be longer in the body. The EVA GT would use BMW N54 twin turbo straight 6 producing 302 bhp, Euro 6 emissions compliant. Shown at Pebble Beach in clay in 2010 and expected to go on sale in 2012, deposits have been taken since 2010. At the end of 2011, Morgan announced that it would use new magnesium technology for the body and therefore it would not be represented until 2014 with deliveries after that. In 2013 dealers confirmed that the EVA GT had been cancelled. Topic Morgan Three-Wheeler The Morgan Motor Company announced that they would launch the Three-Wheeler in 2011 at the Geneva Motor Show. The three-wheeler was initially said to have a Harley-Davidson Screaming Eagle V-twin engine and a Mazda 5-speed manual transmission, and was estimated to deliver 115 horsepower 86 kilowatts at the rear wheel. However, the prototype that was shown at Geneva had an S&S &S engine. Production three-wheelers turned out to have S&S &S engines. The curb weight was originally estimated to be less than 500 kg £1 but the final weight was tested at 550 kg £1 The acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour was estimated by Morgan as 4.5 seconds, with an estimated top speed of 115 miles per hour 185 kilometers per hour. The three-wheeler is to be homologate as a motorcycle in the United States. The company states that 850 deposits have been taken since the announcement in 2011. Customer deliveries began in Europe in February 2012. U.S. deliveries were not expected before June 2012, when the first imported three-wheeler was displayed in New York City and at the Greenwich Concours d'Elegance. The Morgan three-wheeler was featured in a Series 18 episode of UK motoring show Top Gear where presenter Richard Hammond selected the Morgan three-wheeler in a comparison of track day cars. The three-wheeler won the Not A Car of the Year 2011 in Top Gear magazine. Topic: 
Availability in the United States For part of the 1950s and 1960s, the United States provided the company with its largest market worldwide, taking up to 85% of all production. This ended with the first wave of U.S. safety and emission regulations in 1971. For many years, 1974 to 1992, all Morgans imported into the United States were converted to run on propane as fuel to pass the U.S. emissions regulations. However, this conversion, along with bringing the cars into compliance with U.S. vehicle safety legislation, was carried out by the dealership, and not by the factory, making the cars gray market vehicles. However, when the Rover Group recertified their V8 engine for use in the Range Rover 4x4 sold in the U.S., Morgan was able to use the same engine for a fully U.S. compliant stock Morgan from 1992 to 1996, and again from 1998 to 2004. In 2005, the engine was replaced with the U.S. version of another traditionally shaped model with a V6, called the Roadster. In 2002, Morgan centralized its international compliancy development and regulatory interaction in-house. In 2005, its right to import its classic models ceased when supplies of its necessary airbag were exhausted and no replacement was developed. In 2006, a request for an airbag exemption to the U.S. National Highway Traffic Safety Administration was refused, and the import of classic Morgans ceased. In 2005, the new Morgan Aero 8 model versions 2 and 3 received a three year exemption from rear impact non compliance, along with a separate exemption for compliance with advanced airbag requirements. The rear impact exemption lapsed in May 2008 without further application. Morgan has indicated to its U.S. dealers that it plans to reapply for U.S. certification for some model at as yet an undetermined date in the future. In April 2012, the new Morgan three wheeler was showcased at the New York International Auto Show, at the Jacob Javits Center, by Bobby Singh and Gideon Lang Laddie of Manhattan Motorsports. This was the first time in 10 years that Morgan had had a presence at the largest of the American car shows and was the first U.S. specification Morgan three-wheeler in the United States. The Morgan three-wheeler was voted one of the hottest cars of the show. By G4 TV, in May 2012, Manhattan Motorsports took delivery of Charles Morgan's Superdry Edition Morgan three-wheeler and prepared it for its first major American trial. This vehicle was driven across the states, from New York to Los Angeles by Charles Morgan and his wife, covering 3,000 miles, in the Gumball 3000. At the end of the seven-day drive, the Morgan three-wheeler was awarded the Spirit of Gumball Prize. Topic: <inaudible> General Characteristics. In spite of their traditional design, Morgans have always had sporting or sports car performance due to their extremely low weight. Among their enthusiasts, Morgans are affectionately known as. Moggies. Topic: Suspension. HFS Morgan's 1909 runabout used sliding pillar suspension, an independent front suspension system with each front wheel mounted on a stub axle able to slide up and down a fixed pillar that also acts as the kingpin and supported by a spring and external shock absorber damper. One advantage is reduced unsprung weight, theoretically allowing the tire and wheel to better respond to road surface irregularities. The Morgan system is described as an inverted sliding pillar, as the pillar is fixed and the hub carrier slides over it. Earlier systems had the wheel carried on the pillar, sliding through a bush on the axle. 
Morgan used developments of this suspension system throughout its existence and it is still used on Morgan's classic line, although not on the Aero 8 or its derivatives. Topic. Models 1909 runabout 1911–1939 V-twin three-wheeler 1932–1952 F-series three-wheeler Since 1936 and four-quarters two-seater and four-seater 1950–1969 plus four 1964 to 1967 plus 4 plus 1965 to 1967 Morgan plus 4 competition 2 seater 1968 to 2004 and 2012 plus 8 1985 to 2000 plus 4 2001 to 2009 Aero 8 2004 to 2012 V6 Roadster Since 2005 plus 4 2006 pending Morgan Lifecar 2008 2009 Aramax Since 2009 Morgan 4 Quarters Sport 2010 to 2015 Aero Supersports 2010 cancelled Morgan Eva GT 2011 cancelled Morgan Plus E 2011-2012 Morgan Plus 4 Supersports 2011-present Morgan Anniversary 4 Quarters 2012-2015 Aero Coupe 2012-present Morgan 3 Wheeler 2012-present Morgan Aero Plus 8 2012-present Roadster 3. 7 2015 present Morgan Aero 8 2018 Morgan EV3 Topic Motorsports Morgan cars can be found in many areas of motorsport from club and historic racing to more prominent examples including the Le Mans 24 hours race a notable Morgan racecar was the Aero 8 GT car that campaigned in 2008 Britcar races and the 2008 Britcar 24 Hours at Silverstone, prepared and run by Mark Bailey Racing. Pescarolo Sport rebranded its Le Mans prototype as a Morgan for the 2012 24 Hours of Le Mans, partly to mark the 50th anniversary of a class victory for a Morgan Plus 4 Super Sports at Le Mans. Topic: In popular culture. Gomog's Morgans at the movies. Sir John Harvey Jones famously visited the firm in the 1990s BBC documentary series Troubleshooter in which he advised the firm to modernize. The company rejected the advice but made other changes to its processes. Topic. See also List of car manufacturers of the United Kingdom List of motorised trikes